Stevens being because it's a private university, they don't have this uh, waiving off of the entire yeah. fees. You know, you can get TA positions. Also, RA positions are not available at Stevens. It's only for PhD students. Hey everyone, uh, welcome to another interview with another very special person, Atish. Uh, he's currently pursuing his master's in computer science uh, at Stevens Institute of Technology, and today we are going to talk to him and learn from him his experience from the university. But before we do that, I would love to hear a little bit about you, uh, Atish. Yeah, sure. Uh, so my name is Atish Kayat. I'm basically from Bangalore. I did my undergrad in uh, MS Science of Technology, Bangalore. And I'm a 2019 pass out. Uh, I did my undergrad also in computer science. And after that, I worked as a data scientist for two years. And then for one year, I worked as a senior business analyst. And currently, I'm pursuing my master's in computer science with uh, actually, I mean, the machine learning track in computer science mm-hmm. at Stevens mm-hmm. Institute of Technology. Got it. Got it. Yeah. Now, uh, one of the first things that people try to do when they start their journey of, you know, thinking about pursuing master's is they start with mm-hmm. making this list of universities that they would want to go in and uh, checking whether their profile matches those universities, right? Hmm. So, sure. uh, uh, if you could share your profile, like what was your profile when you started applying for masters? What were your GPA experience you already shared, but your scores and stuff like that? Um. Yeah. So my GPA was eight point oh, and uh, my GRE score was three one two, and my TOEFL score was also uh, TOEFL score was one one two. Um. Oh, yeah. So uh, I applied to around four or five colleges. I applied to Indiana University, uh, the Purdue University, Indiana Police Campus. I applied to Indiana University Bloomington. I applied to Stevens, mm-hmm. uh, NYU, and ASU. Mm-hmm. So I got admits from Stevens and Indiana University, Indiana Police Campus. Uh, so these were the two universities that I got, and I got rejects from the rest of the three. Got and it. I chose Stevens, basically, you know, firstly, it's closer to New York. The city is there. Um and also, uh, I was getting the machine learning track and the courses that I saw, you know, the which are courses mm-hmm. I could choose. I think they were pretty uh, accommodating and uh, they were flexible in terms of which courses I could choose. So that's the reason I chose Stevens. Yeah. Got it. Got it. And does uh, Stevens also have some sort of scholarship which you uh, get? Uh... Yeah, yeah. So Stevens has a bunch of scholarships that people usually get. <laughs> and I have heard uh, from my previous conversations that generally when you apply for your uh, program, that's a time you would be automatically kind of enrolled uh, in the queue for that scholarship. Uh, so is that the case or there, there are other ways to get that scholarship? Oh yeah, there are no uh, separate uh, application for scholarships or anything like that. It's just when you directly apply for the application for the course, uh, they consider you if you are, you know, eligible for the scholarship or not. Got it. I'm not really sure what's exactly how it, how they select uh, who gets mm-hmm. the scholarship or not. Yeah. Got it. Got it. But do you often see that most of your friends or people who are in your class got some sort of scholarship? I know it can go up to forty percent. That's what I have heard. Uh, uh, and then there's another number I have heard, which is about I think uh, fifteen hundred dollars per semester or something like that. So how how is that? Uh, how is those? Uh, so it's. What I have seen is around 20%. I don't know anyone really personally who has got like 40%. But mm-hmm. yeah, I think that's people can, you know, get 40% also. Got it. But yeah. Got it. Got it. Now moving on to the next uh, topic, which is uh, living, right? Uh, and before yeah. even we go to living, let's first look at the overall expenses because that would be one of the primary, you know, concerns mm-hmm. which people yeah. have. People always start with their profile and their budget. So yeah, uh, how's the overall expenses in Stevens? If you have to give like uh, overall fees for two years, how much that comes out to be, and how are the expenses, your monthly expenses? So the two years uh, without scholarship would be around, you know, around twenty thousand per semester. So that'll mm-hmm. come up to eighty thousand for two years, and expenses because you're in Jersey and uh, also because. Stevens is very close to New York. It's right on the edge of New Jersey mm-hmm. and uh, you know Manhattan, so it's it's expensive out here also. Uh, mm-hmm. For example, uh, my monthly you know expenses they 
reach up to thousand eleven hundred dollars, mm-hmm. and majority of it, that's like seventy percent of it, is just rent. Okay, and this is so, because yeah, uh, you have got a room for yourself, like. Yeah. So, uh, what we have done is we got a two bed, one bath. It's mm-hmm. for two thousand dollars, and three people are sharing. So okay. even the hall is being used as a bedroom. As a room, yeah, yeah, yeah. I when I was doing my masters, I was in a hall, so I know. Okay. Yeah. So uh, the issue, uh, especially this time, what happened was uh, there was sudden influx of a lot of students, mm. especially this semester. So it was very tough to get places. Uh, mm. So I came on October uh, August eighteenth until mm. and I got a place on October first. So for almost one and a half months, I was crashing at my friend's place. Oh wow. You know, it's great because you must have saved a little bit money. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Definitely, I did save money there. But um, but yeah, for one and a half months, if you don't have anyone, it's pretty. It gets pretty tough because I've seen that people took. You know, they just adjusted anywhere. <laughs> right. So, right. 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 I, I kind of like took my time. You know, found a good place because mm-hmm. all of us had someone or the other here. Right. So kind of relaxed about that. But yeah, it, it's what I've heard is that this time it's got pretty expensive because even my seniors were there before. Mm. few years ago and they were just paying around like 400 500 dollars and they were getting places but it's this semester i don't know like none of my friends have anything like cheap options like that yeah all of them think... are paying like 700 easy right right and over the period of last two years because of covid i think a lot of people must have deferred their admits changed their yeah, yeah, yeah. so yeah. that kind of shot up the you know uh yeah. I think this this year was the biggest till now mm-hmm. yeah yeah, yeah, that definitely was there. Also, there are multiple colleges around here. There's NJIT around. A yeah. lot of NYU students also stay here because it's uh, you know, it just take like forty minutes to reach the campus mm-hmm. of NYU. Got so it. So there are a lot of college students around in this area also. So like I told, my roommate is also from NYU. Yeah, we stay yeah. together. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you said twenty per semester, twenty k per semester. So I believe the last right. semester is always cheaper. Right, because yeah, so the last semester will be just uh for one subject there'll be like three credits, mm-hmm. so that'll be around six k. That's all. Right, right. So the overall right. fee would be around sixty to seventy. Sixty, sixty, seventy. Yeah. Something yeah, like yeah, yeah. Um, now moving on to the next topic, which is uh, and we touched upon this a little bit, which is living. So people who yeah. try to figure out, okay, what are those good places where they can live? You know, one or two <laughs> communities where, where people you know uh, generally live. If you could share about that. Um, yeah, so the closest to Stevens will be this place called Hoboken, but that's also the most expensive. Um, but if you have the budget, if you can extend your budget to thousand dollars, I think that's a it's a pretty nice and it's a pretty good place. Mm-hmm. But it's just you go beyond that a little bit, it's called the Heights. So that's where majority of the St- uh, Stevens students they stay. Mm-hmm. Uh, so that's somewhere, you know, slightly cheaper than that. That's around seven hundred dollars, uh, or maybe two thousand dollars for a two BHK. Got that's it. the price around this area called the Heights. Uh, and there's also Union City. There's a place called Union City. You can stay there. Uh, there's a place called Journal Square. Mm-hmm. Uh, a lot of students stay there also. And there's an Indian street there, which is pretty famous uh, in New Jersey. Mm-hmm. The Indian street in Journal Square. So a lot of students, a lot of Indians actually stay there. Yeah. Got it. Got it. Uh, so the expenses are pretty much uh, similar around all of these areas, except Hoboken, in the first place that I told you. It's slightly expensive. Got it, got it. And for people who are living a little bit further, uh, how's the commute for them? Do they have to take buses? Uh, are there like trains? How's the commute? And is it safe uh, for people in night? Like how how is the safety aspect of it? Yeah, I mean, uh, so the heights is I think a decent you know enough area. You know, even uh, I walk to college and it takes me like thirty minutes to walk to my campus. Um, hmm. And uh, this area is pretty safe. And also New Jersey has a lot of uh, great public transport. You, know, you don't have to worry about that. Mm-hmm. There are buses, you know, at great frequencies. There are metros. Uh, there's even uh, a light rail, something called a light rail, which is also pretty frequent. So everything is there. I think uh, transportation shouldn't be an issue. And safety-wise, uh, I'm not really sure about areas which are further from the heights. Mm-hmm. But uh, at least till the heights and all, it's pretty safe. Yeah. Got it. Got it. Uh, now moving on to the next topic, which is uh, obviously once people land here, they would want to you know keep their expenses as low as possible. Sure. Yeah. One of the ways to do that is to have an on-campus job, right? So, how is the situation with on-campus jobs? What are those areas like hot areas where, uh, if mm-hmm. you are really desperate, you would definitely get an on-campus job, or you have high probability of getting an on-campus job. Yeah. Uh, secondly, how is the situation with TARs and 
if you get one of those does that wave off your tuition fees uh no so stevens being because it's a private university they don't have this uh, waving off of the entire yeah. fees you know you can get ta positions also ra positions are not available at stevens it's only for phd students mm-hmm. uh, and the thing with campus jobs is stevens is slightly smaller you know it's not a great it's not a big campus or anything like that mm-hmm. it's a very uh, a small space you know confined campus so the amount of jobs also that you uh, for students is pretty less Mm-hmm. So unless you are like you're like you told you're not really desperate or if you're really looking forward to it, it's very tough to get you know. Mm. Uh, especially in like first semester, I haven't seen people. A lot it. of people get it. Yeah, got it. It's pretty tough. Yeah, got it. But it's only like once you you know uh, spend some time in college, make connections, mm-hmm. and then you uh, slowly start by second semester or something you get it. Got it. Got it. Got it. How's the uh, uh, now moving on to the curriculum part? Like how's the overall course uh, of computer science in Stevens? Uh, uh, does it really prepare you for the industry? If uh, if so, <laughs> what are those subjects which you know are really adding value to your resume? Um. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, like I told, I've actually taken the machine learning track, right? And because mm-hmm. I was working as a data scientist before, that's the path that I wanted to take. Uh, my subjects are strictly just on data science and machine learning. so mm. that's uh, basically mathematics uh, of machine learning and applied machine learning so mm-hmm. it's mostly revolving around that uh, but from what i've heard from my friends is uh, who have taken just computer science is so they have a variety of you know subjects that they can take and they if they want to specialize in that also they can do that so there's everything for software engineering uh, to just web develop uh, front end to back end uh, so even for data science if they want to go just computer science students they can do that also So there are a lot of subjects, though. I've seen the uh, curriculum. I've seen the courses. There are a huge variety of subjects. So, mm-hmm. in like, if you're thinking about, you know, if there would be enough subjects or something, you don't have to worry about that. It's mm-hmm. not an issue. There are like, okay. good variety of subjects. Yeah, I think they they prepare you well for the industry too, because uh, even now, like, even though I worked for these many years, I think mm-hmm. understanding the maths and the concepts and underlying algorithms and like, you know, basically the foundations of that that's become very helpful for me. Right, yeah. right, right, and I'm pretty sure because you have now this kind of curriculum, um, mm-hmm. the situation with internships and full time should be good. Uh, so how should be? I, mm-hmm. Ideally, it should be good because I've heard that uh, you know people usually get around this time. But I think this semester, uh, this particular time, you know, the market conditions are pretty bad. Mm. So <laughs> it's it's pretty tough out there. Right. Yeah, it's. I mean, you have to start applying as soon as you land, or even before that, if possible for you. Uh, make sure that you uh, have your resume created, developed, and all of that. So all the Stevens does help with that. They have a uh, entire career section, you know, career department, which helps you with the resumes and interviews and everything. But Got yeah, it. it's suggested that you just uh, make sure be prepared for it. Got it. Got yeah. it. Got it. So now, since uh, since you have joined, uh. Stevens, right? You must have talked with some of your seniors uh, for tips and tricks. Yeah. You would be like, okay, what are the things that I should do, should not do? So, what are those highlights that you got from having these different conversations so far? Ah, uh, I mean, <laughs> I actually, I did talk to a lot of seniors. Like, I had few friends here, but. Yeah. Uh, It's it's mostly around. I think one of the main things to do is network. Is make sure that you talk to people in campus. You make friends. You uh, so that that's the that's I think it generally goes for any college or any place that you go to is to network. But I think that's the number one uh, you know uh, tip that I've got is to network and like make sure that you reach out to people and you know just make connections. So that that's I would say the. It's kind of a generalized tip. I haven't got anything specific tailored to Stevens, but got yeah, it. that's got it. Got it. Well, that's all I had for uh, this conversation, uh, Adesh. Thank okay. you so much for okay. patiently, you know, sharing all of this information with us. Yeah, uh, sure, sure. For everyone who is watching, definitely share your favorite nugget that you learned from this uh, conversation in the comment section below. Mm-hmm. I'll see you in the next week.